The only way that from a, from a legal standpoint that we can transfer title or that we deal in real property, the physical address is okay, but the legal description is, is what we have to have, and it needs to be complete. There are three types of legal descriptions. There are the meets and bounds legal description, the government survey, and the lot and block. The meets and bounds is the most accurate legal description that we have, and it's based on a circle, a sphere, 360 degrees, and the surveyor works off of that. The government survey method is a little bit different. It has to do with dividing the state up into a checkerboard. It has a baseline and a meridian line. The meridian line runs north and south through Tallahassee. The baseline runs east and west through Tallahassee. And as far as the way that the meridian line runs, coming off the meridian line, going east and west away from Tallahassee are six mile bands. These six mile bands are known as ranges. As far as the baseline is concerned, it runs east and west, but the bands running away from Tallahassee run north and south. These are called townships. Now, and, and some people call them tiers, but the surveyor calls them townships. Anytime that a range and a township intersects, it creates a six mile square, or 36 square miles. This is also known as a township. And contained in that township are 36 individual miles. Each of those individual miles are considered to be a section. There are 36 sections in a township. Every township with the sections, those sections can be subdivided up into subsections. And you're going to have to know how to calculate the various subsections. The easiest way to remember this is, is that there are 640 acres in a section. And if you're given in a test situation, what is the northeast one quarter of the northwest one quarter of a section? Remember that all you're going to do is take 640 and divide it by the bottom numbers. That's the easiest way to remember it. Also, one thing that you need to remember about this is that if you see the word and, the word and means that you're dealing with more than one legal description. You have to separate them out, do them separately, and then add them in together later on. The last legal description is called the lot and block. The lot and block is basically a plat where you've taken a subdivision, you've divided up, and you've platted with the public record, and you have individual little lots within that subdivision. The property uh, appraiser's office may have the parcel ID for you. That is not a legal description. It's a good start, but remember that is not a legal description. The uh, legal description section is not that complicated. Um, you are going to have to know how to calculate subsections uh, and the way that uh, sections fall in a township, but um, it's going to be a fairly easy section for you to be able to do. And so let's go ahead and review that particular chapter. Meets and bounds is the most accurate and has a point of beginning. The government survey divides the state into a checkerboard. Lot and block describes subdivisions. The meridian line runs north and south. The baseline runs east and west. Ranges are six mile bands running north and south from Tallahassee. There are 640 acres in a section. Townships, another word for townships is a tier, is a six mile band running east and west from Tallahassee. When a range intersects with a tier, it creates a box six miles by six miles. This is known as a township. A township itself contains 36 square miles and 36 sections. And this is the end of this chapter's review.